Hey guys, how are you doing today? I am Spartacat, and I am going to be doing a walkthrough series on this game called Jack and Daxter. Yes, we're going all the way back to PS2 days, I guess. This game came out like in 2001, and as you can tell, I've beat it 100% multiple times. Just because that's how cool I am. So, um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to play through it 100%, unless you guys don't want to see this. But I thought it would probably be a really fun thing, fun idea to do. And uh, I'm not going to talk through any of the things. Well, I probably, like the cutscenes. I probably will talk through them, but I'm going to try not to. So, let's get started. Yes, I would like to overwrite this. Anyway, Jack, this place gives me the creeps. Instead of heeding my wisdom, the two of 
of you went mucking around at the only place that I told you not to go, Misty Island. That's right, and then... And, Daxter, you finally took a much-needed bath, but in a bathtub filled with dark ego. Look, old man, are you gonna keep yapping, or are you gonna help me out of this mess? I'm gonna keep yapping, because in my professional opinion, the change is an improvement. And besides, I couldn't help you if I wanted to. What? There's only one person who has studied Dark Eco long enough to have a chance at returning you to your previous form. Gal Acheron, the sage. But he lives far to the north. Far, far to the north. Nobody has spoken to him in ages. I would teleport you there, but I can't do that either. None of the three sages that maintain the other teleporter gates have seen fit to turn their ends on for quite a while. The only other way north is by foot through the Fire Canyon, but its volcanic soil is hot enough to melt precursor metal. You can't just walk through it. But you could fly over it if you had a zoomer equipped with a heat shield. I just happen to be working on such a thing at this very moment. All I would need is 20 power cells to give it enough energy to withstand the canyon's heat. Isn't that right, Daddy? Yes, Kira, that might work. But where are a boy and a half going to get 20 power cells? From the villagers. Most of them have a power cell or two stashed away somewhere. And even if they aren't willing to just give them away, greasing their palms with a few precursor orbs should do the trick. And I bet there are even more of them out in the wilds just waiting for some brave adventurer to find. Well, we've got the brave adventurer at least. Brave adventurer? You two couldn't find your way out of the village without training. Before you do anything else, you better go through the warp gate and get some practice on Geyser Rock. Uh, we won't find any more of that dark gooey eco stuff, will we? Because I'd hate to fall in again and turn into you. Get in there before I turn you both into ferns. Yeah, so I had to show the intro because that's like the main storyline of like what's going to be happening. Um, yeah, well, yeah, so, yeah, we're going to do the tutorial in the next, oh. Okay, so we're going to do the tutorial in the next part, and I'll put both of these parts up at the same time just because... No one wants to watch through that one video and be like, oh, it's boring. So, yeah, I shall see you guys in the next part.